I enjoy the, the deep sense of pretending that it encourages or requires, but there's something about um, the sacred space that exists between action and cut, or between the curtain going up and going down that's um, difficult to describe and, and unlike anything else I, I've experienced. You're the boyfriend of a woman who has a six-year-old son, and you're a mean son of a bitch. You've recently moved in. Yeah. And uh, she occasionally has to run off to work, do something, and leaves you with the kid who you can't stand. Get out of here, you little fuck. See, that's great. I don't care how old you are. Get out of my face. I don't want to hear a fucking sound out of you until your mother gets home. You can whine to her, but I don't want to hear it. When I got the phone call at noon that, uh, Sam Mendes was looking for someone to replace Alan Cumming as the MC in Cabaret and went in at six for a work session that lasted for just shy of an hour and left and ran into the casting director under the Cabaret sign at Studio 54 and he let me know that I had the role and I went in and saw the show for the first time that night and was... Fantastic. Pinching myself all night long, simultaneously invigorated and absolutely horrified. You're a little league coach, mm -hmm. about to go ballistic on a volunteer umpire who called um, a runner safe against your team when it should have been an out. You're really going to go too far this time. <laughs> <laughs> When I was in graduate school, I can remember two things that were said to me that I took to heart and uh, have hopefully more effectively employed as I've gone on. One teacher said to me, I think you just need to let go of your fear of being an asshole. <laughs> so I hope that I have uh, slowly but surely done a better and better job of relinquishing my fear of being an asshole. I think he was talking about in my work. And I was too <laughs> polite. Um, and another teacher said to me, you know, it's not always a, a nail that you're hammering into a wall. Sometimes it's just a thumbtack. You're a uh, famous Russian choreographer for the Bolshoi Ballet, and you've been uh, asked to be a guest choreographer at the New York City Ballet. And you've been there two weeks, and there's one woman mm. dancer who has pissed you off from mm. the beginning. There's just some button that she presses that every time you look at her, anything she does, you're critical and feel she's the biggest shit in the world until finally you decide to humiliate her in front of the company. That's great. That's great. Fat! That's fat! Cow! Entitled American Bitch. Leave, 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 leave. Uh. For Dexter, it was um, useful to talk with uh, the blood spatter analyst at Miami Dade and find out what his day job was like or read accounts of uh, interviews with serial killers or accounts of their crimes or books by FBI profilers, but that will only take you so far. For me, I think what ultimately is required and what ultimately is the real thrill of it is the imaginative leap. What if I were this person? 